Hi everyone and welcome back. I am Anthony Gamer and I'm Larry, Larry the Lion. Today we're going to have another Anthony and Larry Plays as we are going to be playing Action 52. Now many of you have probably heard of this game. Its reputation does kind of precede itself. Yeah, uh, you can say that again. And uh, a good large percentage of you probably heard about it on the Angry Video Game Nerds channel. And we're not going to spend the whole time just discussing the game itself and the history of the game. Uh, that could be a whole separate episode. As a matter of fact, there's a great documentary that another gaming channel did on it, and I will have the link to that in the description below. What we did is we uh, took uh, each number, 1 through 52, and uh, put it in a number randomizer online, and we picked three games out of there to try. That's correct. Uh, these were purely picked at random, so what we're going to do is we're going to each play these games, and whoever gets the highest score in two out of three games wins, just like we do every time. So, would you like to go first? Oh yeah, I'll uh, go first if you don't mind. Okay then. Well, let's get started. Okay, so here we go, Action 52. Uh, one other thing to remember is we are going to be playing the Sega Genesis version, not the NES. And our first game is Freeway. Yeah, uh, somebody wants to get sued. No, actually, this is a little bit different. In this game, you are this dog, and you are trying to retrieve items from the other side of the road and bring them back. Oh, yeah, that's uh, interesting. You're trying to go across uh, six lanes of traffic without getting splattered. Exactly. close one. Yeah. Well, you can tell this is uh, a little better than the chicken. One thing I really like about this is how... Oh, good job. Level two. Excuse me. One thing I really like about this is how the traffic patterns are very irregular, just like how they are in real life. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, they got your tail. And they splattered you. Aw, oh, darn it. Try again. And they can't even hit your tail. Well, you got a tail. How would you like for a car to run your tail over? I think it would hurt you a lot or, and probably kill you. Uh, yeah. I don't even like uh, when people pull my tail. Give me an opening. Oh, run for it. Okay, you made it. Good job. Level All right. Level three. Uh, what do you think some of those things are? Um, they look kind of like ham hocks. I think that one's a pile of bones or kibble or something. I'm not exactly sure. Is that traffic light supposed to help? If it's supposed to, it's not really doing a good job. Oh, they got your tail again. Darn it. Level three. Okay, you're doing just fine. Watch that tail, watch the tail. Oh yeah. Okay, good job. Level four. Oh, 
What about those things? Uh, I think they're like toy balls or... Oh, that was close. I think they're like toy balls or bull... It's hard to say. All this for some toys. Yeah. Never see a cat do that. Oh no, of course not. The uh, cat would just wait for you to go get it and bring it back. Yep. Oh, that was close. Thought my tail was sticking out again. your last life. Oh! Okay, not a bad score. Let's see if I can top it. Notice that if you push the button in this game, it makes the dog bark? No, I didn't notice. Uh, what's the point of that? I'm not really sure. I kind of get the impression they put it in there just because they could, since the buttons really don't have any function at all in this game. Oh! Congratulations, you died on the first level. Even I didn't do that. dialogue in a video game was an anomaly. Oh yeah. When it happened sometimes back in the day, it would scare the bejesus out of people. I think I told you that story about when I was at Wilco and I was playing, um, oh, that one game. Uh, what's it with the monster? It'll come back to me. Um, monster spaceship. I don't know why I can't remember the name of it right now. Probably because I wasn't any good at it, but anyway. And, uh, it would, you know, scream and make those unhuman noises. Oh, good job. Level three. Oh, I remember now. It's Sinistar. Yeah. But, anyway, I was playing the game at Wilco, and, uh, thing let out that inhuman scream and this little girl just ran off screaming and crying. Uh, yeah, notice there's not uh, really consistency to the uh, traffic pattern. Yeah, I think this is one of those go whichever direction you want and as fast as you want. Which it makes it all the more fun, I tell you. Yeah, I guess uh, three lanes going one way and three lanes going the other way would uh, make it too easy. 
<laughs> yeah, something like that. Alright. Level four. Oh, got my tail. Dang. Level four. I think it's more like the dog's rear end. Yeah, that's true. Oh, whatever it is, he split. Oh, man. Level four. I think you're on your last life there, buddy. Yeah, getting close to beating your score. Oh, that's it. I won. <laughs> okay, now we're on to the next game. Okay, now we're on to the next game. And it is... Level 1. Shootout, that's right. Oh, you should be good at this. Well, I would sure hope so. Now in this game, what you do is you're trying to shoot all of these moving targets. And shoot them all before you run out of bullets. That's pretty much it. Historically speaking, he's better than me, but, you know, stranger things have happened. Level two. Alright, nice job. Round two. Whoa. Yeah, you pick up the pace a little bit there, don't they? shot count I right? don't just you know start shooting randomly try to make every shot hit something make every shot count. Alright, nice Level job with four three. spare. I think you're getting the hang of it now. Oh yeah, yeah I think I got it. I remember as a lion, I'm, uh, you know, my people are usually on the other end of the gun. Oh, yeah, that's true. Level complete. Oh, 
boy. Now you're really getting it. Yep, I sure am. Weren't you planning on doing a video later on about uh, carnival games? Yeah. Are uh, you going to put this one in there? Oh, probably. Some surprises, too. And you're doing good. Thank you. Now it's my turn. Level one. Okay, here we go. Watch the master shooter in action. Oh, brother. Don't be too confident there, buddy. If you are, something could happen. Mm -hmm. What could possibly happen? I don't know, but still. Bad karma to uh, be bragging. Level complete. Level two. All right then. Crap, the game locked up. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. What? Um, the game froze, okay? So, shouldn't I get a do-over? Yeah, that, well, I guess that's fair. Uh, it looks like some of the bugs that had been with this game, even in the NES version, still aren't, are still there on the Genesis. So, all right, I'm going to do a quick do-over then. Okay, and our next game here is number 47. Level 1. Be another shooting game. No, it's my second chance. Oh yeah, sorry, uh, I haven't been sleeping too well lately, the kids. Well, oh, okay, yeah, I can understand that. How many are you up to now? Six. You want one? No, I'll, I'll pass. Level complete. All right, congratulations. You got past level, level one on your first three. try. Yeah, too bad you knew the same with freeway. Yeah, that last shot, that crow, or magpie, or whatever he is. Did you notice, uh, every once in a while the game seems to glitch a little. Yeah, I did notice that. I wonder if it's something with the programming. Alright, nice job. Thank you. Level three. I've said it once, I'll say it again. When it comes to target shooting, nobody can beat you. I appreciate that. I try, but you know. I'll be darned. 
Level four. surprised at the uh, positive feedback, or the large number of positive feed feedbacks we got from uh, people regarding that game, uh, the skeet shoot. Yeah, I was too. But, you know, like one person said, it was kind of like a, a rip-off of Target Fun or Air and Sea Battle, which it was, but still. Nice one. Level five. Okay, what we got going on here? I'm just trying to get these suckers. Well, regardless, I beat your score. Yeah, so this one goes to you. Okay, and now for our final game, Sharpshooter. Amazing how we got two shooter games. Yeah, it is. I mean, it was pure random. I didn't pick them. They just picked themselves, I guess. Boy, that uh, must be one heck of a gun there. Yeah, I'll say. Looks like in this one, you don't you know, have a limited supply of bullets, obviously you're just trying to shoot the targets before they get to you. If you imagine that... What's that? Uh, if one of these targets got to someone and killed them... Oh, nice job. I don't know how you determine the end of the level. I don't either, but, you know, just keep it up, I guess. But... Yeah, can you imagine that you're, uh... Somebody gets killed, are you gonna what? Yeah, write a letter to them like a deer, you know. Yeah, like dear Mrs. Lion, we regret to inform you that your husband uh, was killed in action. Uh, he was taken out by a big purple head. Yeah, Lillian would love that. Oh yeah, exactly. Not bad. Oh, thank you. things. Level oh. complete. Level three. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, okay, I, I, okay, that I don't know. I kind of, I know that one thing's a frog. I don't know what that purple thing is. It doesn't look like it's very happy. Now that kind of whirly thing, that reminds me a lot of one of the sprites in that uh, Activision prototype. Um, you know, that one about where the musical instruments are coming after you and you're trying to like, not get killed by them. Oh, you're talking about Thwalker. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, didn't you uh, get a fixed version of that? Yeah, somebody on the Atari Age boards, I don't remember who it was, was able to actually 
finish the game or make it so that the levels would connect with each other. Ooh, nice job. Thank you very much. Still doesn't make the game any easier, though, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, that's not exactly what I would call one of the easiest games, period. I know, but still it's fun, and it's really too bad it wasn't released. Yeah. Oh. Yep, he got you. You want me to write the letter to Lillian? No, nah, no, because she'd know you were playing, and then she'd come after you. Oh, yeah, that's true. The same thing would happen if you did it. Yeah, that's true. I really wish I could shoot this good in real life. <laughs> Level complete. Nice one. Level five. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah. Maybe that is like that white frog that, you know, the female frog from Frogger. It could be. Yeah, that makes sense. And you got the moments in this game where nothing's coming and it gives you a false sense of security and then wham! Well, you're not doing very bad for it being your first time. they do when we play Thwalker. Yeah, I'm not that great at it either, so don't feel bad. Level complete. Okay, keep it up. Level seven. killed by like just about everything so far. The purple thing got gotcha, you, that whirly hopper got gotcha, you, and the female frog. Oh. And there she has it. Okay, now it's my turn. Let's see how I do. Sharpshooter. Okay, my turn. Yeah, let's see if the real sharpshooter is gonna do well on the sharpshooter game. Well, so far, so good. I got a feeling it's being a little nicer to you than it was to me. Uh, hmm. Yeah, because, I mean, I'm not getting a lot of enemies here. Oh, wait a minute, I spoke too soon. Just have to wait and see if uh, this game is a little inconsistent. So, oh yeah, which I think adds to the appeal because I mean, you know, it's not like in Carnival where the 
targets are coming all the time, like here now, I'm waiting, where are they? And then they just kind of appear in like a group and you're like, what the? Or just one. Some people find that about the NES version of this game is irritating, but like I said, I think it adds to the suspense of the game personally, but that's, that's just me. Although, to be honest, the NES version is pretty bad. Um, oh, nice job. Hey, what do uh, those usually go for nowadays? Uh, what, the NES version of Action 52? Yeah. Oh, wow. I've seen them start at around $200. And I honestly can't imagine someone buying them just to play. This, yeah. And this one is relatively inexpensive. I've seen it for like go for like thirty dollars on up. Um, now this one, like I said, yeah, we I've played a couple different games on here, and for the most part, these games are all pretty cool. But you know, still, honestly, though, I would not want to. Act, oh, there I got level two. Level three. Honestly, though, I would not want to get the action fifty-two. Um, NES version, because, I mean, for one thing, it's very expensive. I mean, even when it was being sold back in the day, they were asking $199, and I don't know what that is with inflation, but that's that's crazy. Yeah, especially since uh, that same year, the Super NES uh, was that much. I know. And <laughs> but nowadays, I think if anyone actually does buy it, they... Oh, how about that? The frog got you. Yep. Probably from all them times I played Frogger and I killed him or something, I don't know. But I think if people were to get the game now, I think it's just for, like, collector's value. Because, you know, honestly. And, I mean, and Angry Video Game Nerd actually, you know, said in his video that if you're trying to play it and it's been in your NES for a while, it starts to get hot. And he said you could actually even smell it. So, I mean, that's, that's a manufacturing problem there because I've never oh, did it again honestly I've never had that happen you know in all of the game consoles and all the games I've had I've never have had a game overheat so but I guess well when Nintendo put that uh, quality sticker on the games uh, it means more than just the game itself. Oh, that it's, I'm sure. I mean, it's probably got, you know, to do with, like you said, the cartridge itself is quality, but this one was not, was an unlicensed NES game. And so, I mean, they probably cut a lot of corners manufacturing it. So, I mean, it makes perfect sense, though, that it would have issues. Like I said, I, I would honestly say that that would be about the only reason to get Action 52 for the NES is because it's collectible. Because you're sure not going to play it. I mean, if you want to play it just to play it and, you know, see if it is as bad as everyone says it is, uh, get the ROM. Hey, you're doing pretty good there. Yep, I sure am. No surprise. I mean, other than getting killed by the frog. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you may actually uh, beat my score. Oh yeah, it's it's gonna. I bet it's gonna be close. Who knows? If this game, anything can happen. Are you gonna put this on that Carnival Games uh, compilation or episode? I should say. Yeah. Oh, for sure. right along here, aren't we? Yep, we're just moving right along.
complete. Level 7. Wow, you're still going. Yep. Quit them. They're not messing around at this point, I tell you. Oh. Level seven. On my last life. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. And I beat your score. Hooray. There, there, there. It's okay. I know, I lost. Yep, you think you'd be used to it by now. <laughs> well, I won last week. Yeah, that was last week. <laughs> anyway, so we hope you guys enjoyed watching us play the Sega Genesis version of Action 52. If you did like it, uh, don't forget to click that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, share with friends and family, and don't forget to click that little bell icon down there so you'll be notified when we upload new episodes just like this one. Also, if you did enjoy... Uh, watching us play Action 52, let us know in the comment section below. We could easily do it again. Yeah, uh, three more random games, and I will win once again. If you say so. Oh, I know so. Wait a minute, isn't it your turn next time to pick the game? Yeah, but I think I picked this for the next one. Okay, so maybe we'll do this for a while till it runs out of gas. Okay, sounds like a deal. Good. All right, then. Well, until next time, I am Anthony Gamer. And I'm Larry, Larry the Lion. And we will see you all... Next week, everything will be made clear. Next week.